Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm performing a deprotection of an aromatic methoxy ether using BBR3. And it's important that you have an argon environment and no water because BBR3 reacts violently with water. And what you're seeing me do here is purging the needle and syringe with argon that I'll be using to collect the BBR3 from the reagent bottle. Please learn from my mistakes and clamp the flask down so it doesn't drop and fall over and break. And when you're working with fuming reagents, turn on the high exhaust, especially do this in the hood. If you're using more than five mils, you should use a blast shield. Um, that is the most disgusting bottle of BBR3 I've ever seen. But anyways, I need to do this reaction, so here we go. I'm gonna put in my argon balloon and that's disgusting. I'm just gonna step back, walk away for a little bit, push that back. Okay, I'm back now. Let's do it. I'm going to put in my purged needle and syringe into the sure seal. Get in! Okay. Now I'm going to pull back and hopefully dispense the BBR3. And it looks like it ain't coming out. This thing's pretty viscous. Um, I might not need to call in some help because this ain't working for me. That's me in the middle, right there. All right, I called in the big guns. Don't be afraid to ask for help, especially if you're a beginner like me. I was able to take this amount of BBR3 to make a one molar solution in dry dichloromethane, and this one molar solution was cannulated into a round bottom that was also dry and purged with argon that contained my substrate and a stir bar. And this reaction went overnight at room temp. So if you're still watching, what's your favorite organic solvent? Mine is DCM because it's easy to get rid of. Okay, now it's time for the workup. I'm going to be working up with uh, methanol and very, very slowly at zero degrees behind your hood sash. You're gonna do this with a long pipette, one drop at, you know, every minute. And this is the uh, mechanism. So BBR3 is a Lewis acid and it has an empty P orbital, which looks nice and juicy to the lone pair on the oxygen. And some source of bromide is responsible for displacing the methyl group. And bromomethane is a side product, but it boils at four degrees Celsius. So it is gone upon workup with methanol. And upon the workup, you also form a volatile uh, borate group. So anyways, I'm just uh, adding the rest of the methanol very slowly. This reaction didn't even work for my substrate because I had an aldehyde on it and I got geminal bromination. So that was pretty sad. I tried to do a uh, refluxing HBR and see if that worked on my substrate, um, but that also did not work. So I guess it's back to the drawing board. I'm going to try to avoid using this reagent at all. It was kind of scary. Not my favorite. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.